Welcome to WP Forms, the best WordPress contact form plugin on the market. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily customize and change the style of your contact forms without using any code. Normally, you'd need to use code like HTML and CSS in order to customize and style your forms to your liking, but you can bypass that and instead use the WP Forms Visual Builder in the Block Editor to easily style your forms without any hassle. With that said, let's jump right in. First things first, you'll need to make sure that the modern markup setting is enabled in WP Forms. This will be enabled by default if you have version 1.8.1 or higher of the plugin, but if you don't, you can go to WP Forms, Settings, and under the General tab, find the setting labeled Use Modern Markup and click on it to enable it. When you're done, click on the Save Settings button. Now let's go into the WordPress block editor to add a form to the page and begin styling. To add a form to the page, click on either the black plus button that appears on the center of the page or the blue plus button on the top left and select WP Forms. From there, select the form you'd like to add to the page. Once the form pops up, click on it to view several settings on the right. These options will allow you to customize several parts of the form, so let's go over them one by one. The theme section allows you to choose a color theme for your form and will update the style of the form's fields, labels, buttons, container, and background. You can choose from any of the predefined color sets, or you can choose one and then change the colors as you wish. When you do, this new customized color theme will be saved and will be added to the list of available themes that you can use on any form at any time. You can click on the new theme from the list and scroll down on the right to rename it or click on the delete theme button to remove it from the list. Next up is the field style section. These settings will allow you to make even more specific customizations to your form. The size dropdown in this section will allow you to change the size of your fields from small to large. The border dropdown offers four different styles for the border of each form field solid, dashed, dotted, or none. You can also adjust the border size by entering a number in the provided box. Entering a higher number will give you a thicker border, whereas a smaller number will produce a thinner one. The border radius setting will round out the corners of the field. The higher the number, the rounder the corners of the field will be. The units of measurement are set to pixels by default, but you can change them to any of the other available options by clicking on the PX text inside the box. Below these settings are the color options. You can click on any option to view two sets of predefined colors. One set is based on the existing colors of your site's current theme. You can select any of the colors by clicking on them, or you can create your own custom color by clicking on the large color box and then using the color picker tool to choose anything you'd like. You can select colors for the form's background, border, text, and drop-down menus. The next section is Label Styles. Here you'll be able to adjust the size of your form labels from small to large and change the colors of the label above the form field, the sublabel that appears below specific fields, and the error or validation message that appears, like the This field is required text. The next section is Button Styles. These settings allow you to customize the look of any buttons on your form, like the Submit button, for example. Much like the Field Style section, you'll be able to adjust the button size and choose a border style, either solid, dashed, dotted, or none. You can customize the border size and the border radius of the button for a more rounded or sharp look. The Colors box allows you to change the background color, border, and text colors of buttons on your form. The next section is Container Styles. The padding setting allows you to change the space inside the form's container borders. If you increase it, the space between the edge of the container and the fields will grow and will shrink if you decrease it. You can choose a border style, size, and radius just like the other style settings. You can choose to add a shadow for your container to add some depth to your form's designs with shadow options ranging from none to large and you can also select a custom color to update the border too. The final selection is background styles. These settings will allow you to either add an image as a background to your form or select a custom color to act as the background instead. In the image dropdown, you can choose either media library, stock photo, or none. If you choose stock photo, a few more settings will appear along with a button called choose image. If you click on this, You'll then be able to browse through the available images you can use as a background for your form. 
Once you select an image, you'll be able to make some adjustments to it by using the available settings. Position, Repeat, and Size. Position lets you change the alignment of the background image you select and choose from options like Top Center, Bottom Center, and so on. The Repeat setting lets you choose how your background image repeats, if at all. Tile will repeat the image across the entire background, Repeat Horizontal will repeat it across the width of the form, and Repeat Vertical will repeat it down the length of the form. The Size setting lets you adjust how the image fits. If you choose Cover, this will make sure the image covers the entire background, whereas if you select Dimensions, you'll be able to enter the exact width and height you want for the image. If you don't want to use a stock image, you can click on the Remove Image button and choose to either use an image from your WordPress Media Library or simply choose a solid background color instead. Finally, the Advanced section is an area where you'll be able to either add in any additional CSS classes or custom CSS code you've written. The box called Copy Paste Style Settings contains code that you can copy and paste in this same box but for a different form to apply the exact same style settings you just configured. When you're done making your changes, click on the Save button and you're all set. You now know how to style your WordPress contact forms without using any code. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WPForms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WPForms community. If you need any additional help, please visit our contact page and reach out to one of our trusted advisors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.